channel thank you for tuning in again um, really excited to bring you this video today we have got our um, first model from the body shape masterclass series she's a combination of strawberry with a little bit of apple in there some amazing legs so we're going to work together today live on camera to show you how I'm going to style her up we're going to show you some do's some don'ts and lots of tricks of the trade of actually how I go about styling my real women for their real lifestyles. So um, this is Delia. So she has bravely volunteered to be my model today. Um, probably slightly nervous. A little bit. A little <laughs> bit. Um, but I think we all need to thank her for coming and doing this today. Um, Delia here. In fact, can we just stand you back? There we go. There we go. Just so you can see Delia's full shape. Do you mind just doing a little bit mm -hmm. of a turn? I know it's awkward, but there we go. So this is uh, how Delia has um, dressed today. The, the first thing that I always ask of my clients, let's just step forward a little bit here so we, so we can, um, the camera can see you a little bit better. So the first question I always ask is, if you do put on weight, where do you put it on? This is all so we can try and assess what shape she is. So for me, it's mainly around the middle and sort of around the hips. So yeah, generally here. Okay, all right. And is there any other areas that you feel conscious of or? Yeah boobs uh okay. since um menopause Great boobs. <laughs> uh, they seem to boobs. be going <laughs> right so, okay uh, so yeah. this is quite new with a new change in it body is. and age etc yeah. okay all right so i will tell you my instant reaction when i first looked at delia can we step back again just a little bit there we go so delia was telling me that she feels um sort of thicker around this middle section but that she also feels thicker around this thigh section. Now, I don't know if the audience are just like myself, but I would take a step back and go, oh my goodness, she's got amazing legs. They're really, really slim. Um, I can't see that she's putting any weight around this area at all. I can see that her bust is quite prominent and probably maybe her shoulders, but her bust may even be bigger than her shoulders. I'm not sure, I haven't actually measured her yet. We're going to do that in a minute. But I wouldn't say the weight was around here. However, I think if I now pull that top up just a little bit, I'm not going to flash anything. There we go. Can, do you mind just moving out your hands just a little bit? I think she's got actually some lovely shape going on there. And I think actually the fact that her legs are so slim up to that point probably makes Delia feel bigger around there but I'm imagining that her hips and her shoulders are going to be fairly aligned um, and her waist it's not going to go in like an hourglass so she's going to carry a little bit of weight like a an apple sort of sort of around this midsection yeah. Yeah. do you get it around your bra strap yes yeah. yeah okay so we're dealing here I think with a combination of a strawberry a little bit of an apple but unlike most strawberries and apples she has got some shape around her her bottom half so she's not really super skinny around her bottom and then goes out like that she's got the first bit of the curve going on but she looks what was that expression you said earlier on to me oh like, like a potato on cocktail <laughs> that was her expression <laughs> not to my or your grandma's expression yeah. wasn't it yeah. so that's probably because She's got a top here ending at her widest point and you can, she's got skinny trousers on and it's going to make her legs look even thinner and this top top part is going to look even um, sort of more squarish, which is where you get this notion of looking like a potato, a potato on a cocktail <laughs> stick. So um, I'm going to focus on recreating the balance. Um, like with every styling um, client that I have, it's all about putting her back into this hourglass shape. 
Okay, so for those of you who have seen um, episode one in the Body Shape Masterclass, you'll know that as well as asking yourself where you put on weight, there is a second method of understanding your body shape, and that is to get a tape measure and to measure. So we will measure around here. Okay, so as you can see from the measurements on the screen, um, she's actually a combination of quite a few shapes. Like I said at the start, I would have assumed she was a strawberry like that, um, but she's actually not. Her shoulders here and her hips are very, very closely aligned. Her hips are a little bit smaller, so they're not perfectly aligned. So she's still bigger in the shoulder area but her bust is also the same size of, as her shoulder, which is probably why you're more conscious of this area, because it's going to make you feel bigger. Um, her waist actually goes in by five or six inches, which is amazing. Um, but unfortunately, sort of when you are um, a strawberry on top with age, we do tend to carry it more around here. Um, strawberries often go into apple shapes when they're older. But what she has go got going on for her, which I think is a huge advantage, are these lovely shapely hips here. I think what I'm going to have to do is actually broaden her, but I'm going to be broadening her from this lower range there rather than broadening her from that point. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we've just had a little bit of a dress up. So uh, <laughs> we're only working with the clothes that we've got here today, which are a few things that I bought in for her, sort of knowing her shape in advance. So she's got this beautiful long line coat on from um, Reese. I've put a cream blouse on with a V-neck just to split her bust line up a little bit. And I picked out these trousers. Can you see those? Maybe you can, I'm going to take the jacket off for you in a minute. But these are a faux leather trouser with a kick out down the bottom here. Now, and, and also they're, they're kind of cropped on the ankle. So importantly, I wanted to show that thin ankle because that's really, really feminine. She's got lovely slim legs. But I did want to add the volume around here. And I think overall, um, with the strong jacket on here as well, which has actually got some really good shoulder pads in. But even so, I think that's actually what Delia is going to need. And as I strip her off in a minute, I think you'll probably see, see why. Um, so the shoulder pads here, then, then the slight kick out down here is actually helping to create a much more balanced figure. So do you mind if we just sort of strip you off a minute? Yeah. All right, so this is the outfit underneath. So we've got this blouse on from Mango. Um, I won't tell you all the prices because I always get them wrong. So if you have a look on, in the comments underneath, then everything will be linked. Um, but it's got this beautiful shoulder detail here. Do you mind if we come a little bit more forward? There we go. So what I actually wanted to do with Delia is create a little bit more volume around here. And I would even go to the extent of adding further volume in the in the form of a oh, sorry, I've got the necklace there of a shoulder pad. Those sort of shoulder pads, they just go underneath the bra strap. OK, so can you see the difference there? It's very slight. Do you mind just put your arm up a little bit? So what the shoulder pad does here is it's going to broaden the shoulders out a little bit, which will ultimately mean that they will align with the hips better and make this waist look smaller. I've also tucked in here, but I'm going to pull it out for a second. Just kind of step back a bit, please. There we go. Um, in fact, do you mind just stepping back even further so we can see right down to the shoes? OK, so she's got nice long legs. How tall are you? Five five. Five five. Okay, so per perfect height. But if we just do a little bit of a tuck here, she's just gained another couple of inches on her leg length there. Can you see that? So all it is, it's a really, really casual little tuck like that. Um, and it's great if you're petite in particular for elongating you, um, but also just for adding some more interest and style. It also, because Delia's a little bit conscious of your belly area, aren't you? So if you turn around, you've, you've got the top there bagging over, so it helps to make the tummy look smaller. Okay, so we could do the same on the behind. Am I turning around? Mm -hmm. 
There we go. We could tuck that in because she's got a lovely shaped bottom going on as well. Or if you're a little bit more conscious, then you could just let it hang out there as well. There we go. Okay, so we've kept the trousers on and we're sticking with this sort of smart, casual look at the moment. Um, Delia works in the city quite a bit, but also from home, don't you? So she needs just the odd outfit like this to go to work in. So um, we've kept the trousers on, as I said, kept the heels on. But this time we've put this beautiful jacket from um, Zara, $79.99. Now, most strawberries, or if you look in the um, theory around what you should wear or you shouldn't wear if you're a strawberry, then they're going to say, don't wear shoulder pads, don't wear double, bre double breasted. But I think she looks amazing in that. And the reason I think it's working is because I've actually broadened her out here on the shoulders. This jacket is doing a beautiful job in following her silhouette down here and then kicking out. And it's kicking it out at exactly the right level for her that then balances out on the trousers down here. So we really are recreating this hourglass shape. If, for example, I pulled these trousers back and um, I don't know how well you can see that and sort of put her in a skinny, then we're going to throw her all off balance again, especially if we take that uh, blazer off, because her legs are going to be back to, in your words, cocktail sticks, um, and she's going to look top heavy again. But the fact that we have got the kick out here is a lovely balancing tool. Now, I have put a tight top on underneath this, and Delia's not overly happy with the tight top, are you? <laughs> really. um, she believes that you can see her sort of extra rolls underneath, <laughs> which I totally understand. But as I was explaining to um, Delia off camera, the fact that this tight top is showing her beautiful bust line, and um, it just makes her waist look so much smaller because the tightness is following her bust line down and then following her, her contours, basically. If that was bigger and baggier, she actually wouldn't look as slim. Now, there are going to be certain times that um, a top like that is fine to wear because you know you're going to be keeping your jacket on all the time. But all you would make sure is that in your wardrobe, you have a white top that's slightly looser, maybe even something like this, that, mm. like I'm wearing. Um, this is the top from Reese, sort of silky on the front, sort of um, plain on the back. So I find that I can wear this in casual or dressing up outfits because it's got the two-tone on. And something like this in between, but it, perhaps in a creamer colour, mm -hmm. would stop it from feeling really tight across here but would still follow down a little bit of your shape and see how it's sort of catching on my bust, yeah. certainly. Yeah. So maybe if she knew that she was going to somewhere where she had to take her jacket off, then she would be wearing this. But if she was going to say her jacket, then I think this gives her an absolutely beautiful silhouette down here. The V is splitting up her bust line perfectly. Are you brave enough to take the jacket off? Go on then. Come on then, let's <laughs> take it off. Do you want to step forward a little bit so you can see? Okay, so um, this is what Delia looked like just in the white top. So um, I can see that she's perhaps going to be conscious around this area. So there is a couple of things that we could do. Um, we could wear a waist snipper underneath. So I'll grab one of those for you. This is a waist snipper. So here in the UK, you can buy them from Debenhams that is still available online. They're about £20 um, and they are boned at the front and the back. And they do a beautiful job of smoothing down this middle area. You put them sort of just above your pant line and just under your bra line and that would smooth out any of these extra wrinkles, yeah. okay? Now you'd need a nude one to go under a, a white top. So um, I'm gonna put that on, on perhaps another couple of the items to show you, just save Delia having to get changed again. But that would sort out that problem. Yeah. Um, so she's actually got a beautiful shape going on, but I have to agree that this jumper alone is making her look a lot broader across the back there. But when combined with the jacket, it looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I just really wanted to quickly show you um, one of Delia's own blazers. She also bought this along today to ask if it was right. Um, and I want to show you the difference between a good blazer versus one that's, you know, it's okay. So first of all, it's got good structure on the shoulders. 
um, it goes in a little bit however it doesn't kick out much at all and for Delia it's cutting her at her widest point right there and if the blazer is going to cut you at your widest point you at least want it to kick out more than your widest point and you see that difference there obviously that's extreme um, but this one generally speaking is not going to be as flattering as the longer one that flicks out so do you want to just take a step back sorry Delia thank you and then I will just try and put a photograph at the side of the other blazer. Okay, so just why Delia is um, getting changed in there. She said to me that she would love a jumper dress. And my response was, well, why don't you? And she said, because my bust is so big, I can't wear a turtleneck and I just feel much bigger in them. So I'm kind of here to disprove a little bit of a theory. So I'm not sure if it's going to work, um, but I have got two different styles. Um, personally, I think this one is going to work better than this one. And let me come closer to the camera to tell you why. Actually, sorry, that one's back to front. So first of all, we've got a softer cowl neck going on there. So that is going to do something about breaking the bust line up here in the middle. And then let me see how close I can get. Can you see the stitching on the arms there that is going that way? So that also is going to do something about reducing her top half. This one has a drop down sleeve. So they're more of like a, a raglan arm, I think is the correct way of saying it, I'm not sure. So I think that is going to make her look a lot broader, especially when you combine it with a high neck. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so this dress um, here that Delia has got on is from phase eight. It's got this beautiful cowl neck line going on here, which does something to sort of uh, breaking this area up. But I think what I might do is try and get a chain or something, and that might break that area up even more. Mm. Um, it's got these beautiful sleeves on. Look at the belt sort of nature of those sleeves. I love that. However, I do think when they're pulled down like that, it's a little bit overpowering on her frame. So this is where I would always sort of tuck these up a little bit. Oh, there we go, we've already done on that one and it might be quite nice if you had like a little bracelet or something on there um, and then it comes down to this lovely length which still allows us to see her really slim legs um, but it's following her shape really nicely as well it's coming in at just the right length there um, let's just do a little twirl round there we go just have a look from this angle now I think that looks beautiful so I think you look really nicely shaped round there. Okay so all I've done here is added a necklace to this area. This just further helps us break this um, area up, her bust line up. Do you feel particularly no. like on top? You know how you were not describing in, not to now, me? Not in this. Not in that? No. Okay so no. would you actually buy this do you yes, think? Yes I would yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Okay and brilliant. The okay <laughs> and, and, the, and the boots as well. So um, the boots that we've been wearing are from Marks and Spencer's. Again I'll link everything below. So I think adding the neckline there um, definitely works. You could even go a little bit longer. Um, longer necklaces are definitely coming back in as well at the moment. This one was from phase eight, so was the dress. Okay, so this one actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. It's not too bad, but you can see it's definitely making her look broader here. Um, and that's because of these drop sleeves here. But I was thinking that I could probably play around with this sort of dress to show you um, how it would look better. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to start by putting some shoulder pads in her. To, I know which sounds counterintuitive when I'm saying that this is making her look bigger. But bear with me a moment whilst I do this. Right. All I have done there is put a bit of a shoulder pad in and pinch the shoulders up. A little bit. I don't know how well you can see that from the camera but I think that gives this dress a way more shape and would allow her to wear it but with the shoulders like this naturally sticking out then yes they are making her look a lot broader. Okay so even doing something like that giving more structure on the shoulders and splitting the neckline up there with a neck down there with a necklace I think that makes that dress work a lot better but unfortunately because it is a drop 
drop shoulder dress like that, um, I don't think it is as working as well for you. Okay, so we did have another option on the rail that we've just put on um, Delia, but um, you're not loving this one, are you? No, so now it's interesting because theory-wise, this V-neck should be what we're putting her in because she's got a big bust and it, um, we want to halve that area. Um, however, again, the drop sleeves on here are making her feel um, broader across the top. And also she just said to me that she feels very big around the waist area, don't yep. you? And I think for Delia in particular, like we showed you at the very start, she has got some really nice shapely hips going on. So to add pockets around this area where she feels the biggest, um, is only accentuating that even further. So uh, this dress is from um, So Sander, um, denim dress. It's really quite thick. And what I personally love about this dress, particularly on Delia, is the dress is doing all the work for us. So let me talk you through why. First of all, it's naturally got three quarter sleeves, so you're not having to sort of mess around like that. The buttons here are breaking up her bust line. Um, being honest with you, I was a little unsure about the pockets because I was thinking the pockets were perhaps going to make her bust look a little bit bigger. However, they lie really, really flat. Um, the collar as well helps us, uh, helps actually make the bust look a little bit smaller because the collar is sort of sticking up further than the bust is. So that's a great feature as well if you're feeling top heavy and you want to split this area up. It's got nice strong shoulders on. We haven't got any of this drop seam happening down here. Um, the pockets here are really flat and they're high up. They're coming from under her bust. They're not coming from the lower waist and that's incredibly flattering. Um, also, I'm just noticing, do you mind just turning to the side? You can really see she's got a great bust on. You've got great boobs. I keep <laughs> saying to her, she's got great boobs. I'm really jealous of her boobs. Um, so she, you can really see that outline there of her lovely bust. And then this, just the shorter, um, sorry, do want to turn around? This A-line skirt here is flicking out at exactly the right level for her. So it's skimming over her shapely hips and kicking out where she's got her little um, slimmer legs or her cocktail sticks, as she keeps calling them. Uh, we've paired them with a long boot from Marks and Spencers. And I think you're feeling quite happy with that one, aren't you? Yeah, right. really, really, really nice. Now this comes in a pleather version as well as a real leather. Okay, so we're trying something now that when I just pulled it off the peg, uh, Delia said to me, I would never wear anything like that. So <laughs> now my challenge begins. Okay, so we're certainly not gonna leave it looking like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna show off your waist, okay? So these trousers are from Next. I've actually got these myself. They're quite high-waisted. Excuse my bottom on camera while I do this. Very slim one, I find. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but there we go. And I'm just gonna grab a little mule for her here. These, are, these mules are old actually, but they're all in the shops everywhere at the moment. And I've just grabbed a, a little handbag. You could even put that sort of as a, as a cross bag like that. That helps to split up that area. That is a great casual outfit. What do no, you think? I love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can see yourself both, yeah? yeah. Can you see the difference between when you left that out like that in yeah, order to try change. and. Yeah, you yeah. were trying to hide your tummy, but yeah. actually you were making yourself look bigger. Yeah. So by showing off this higher waistband here. And that belt really helps as well, doesn't it? It do does that? really help because it's really nice and thick and solid. So you've gained an extra couple of inches by tucking in like that, um, as well as making her, her waist look a lot smaller. I think that looks great. Do you know what I think would look really nice as well, though, just as a finishing off tool? If you just take that bag off a second, I've got a blazer. Really nice. Mm. The tones are working really nicely for you. This sort of darker brown against your blonde hair is working really nice. Um, these, these trousers are great because they, they're not dead skinny. I think, am I right in saying you always wear a skinny? Yeah. I yeah. think that's where you might be going wrong. Yeah. Okay, because straight away, if I showed you, I don't know if you can see that in the mirror, Delia, yourself. Yeah. But if I pulled that in, 
to be a skinny, it's not going to, to look as good as a slightly more relaxed leg on you. Yeah, it's, suddenly I feel big. Bigger yeah. there. Yeah. Well, probably if you took the jacket off, you'd feel even you'd bigger, bigger as well. Yeah. yeah because it's all about the top half again now, where here, yeah. it's, it's only slight. You haven't gone from, you know, you yeah. haven't gone to wearing a massive big trouser. Yeah. You've just gone for not following the contours of your skinniest part of your legs. Yeah. Um, beautiful jacket on you, that's from Zara, that's currently in stock as well. Um, the shoulder back pads again, I told you I was going to use shoulder pads on you, didn't I? <laughs> so, uh, which is unusual, well it's not unusual actually, people think it's unusual because all the theory says that you shouldn't be broadening yourself, but I broaden a hell of a lot of people on their shoulders area, especially with age because we tend to slump a little bit like that, so it also I think makes you sort of stand. Mm more like that yeah. but personally i think we could have got those shoes the heel shoes from earlier on and could you wear that for work yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah 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 but equally definitely. if you took that jacket off yeah back to the school run or coffee yeah. with friends yeah. trip into marlborough yeah perfect okay so just before we move on from these trousers i was just um showing delia off set how we could um change things up a little bit so we've got these gorgeous um trainers on from jigsaw so just making the whole thing a little bit more casual but she was just saying to me how would she finish that off if she didn't want to wear a blazer um so i will just grab this coat so this is a coat from zara they have these in every single year and I know that Delia's got quite a few of these sort of coats because of work, but you wouldn't necessarily have thought to wear them with your trainers, no. would you? <laughs> Where personally, I think that looks really good. Yeah. So happy with that sort of look? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, really nice. And that's a great way to do smart casual, keeping a smart coat, but adding a really nice trainer with it as well. Okay, so we're back again, but this time with a couple of different jean types for her. So. Um, Delia always wears a skinny and mm. you, or, or a legging, yeah. I've seen you in before as well. So I'm trying to introduce a couple of bootleg and straight leg jeans for her. This one is from, I think it was the Curve Range, was it, from Next? Yep, Curve Range from Next. And this is typically how she would wear her, her jeans, as in a top hanging out to cover this. No, we are going to show this off like that. Okay, and then we're bagging it over slightly. Um, what I get a lot of is when a woman looks down and sees her belly like that, it's, um, it's obviously going to make you feel really, really self-conscious. So if your top is bagging over your belly, it does something to sort of satisfy us that it's our top. Do you know what I mean? Can you look down like that now? It's my top. <laughs> It's all the top, it's not the belly at all. Um, but I think from a styling perspective, that looks a lot better. It also lengthens her legs, just like we've shown in others. And these, um, do you want to just turn to the side? The slight kick out, out here is balancing her hips out and her shoulders out a lot better. If I come behind you and show you what a skinny would look like, do you mind just, yeah. So let me see if I can pull it in. So that would that's what we would be back at if we had a skinny. Can you see how yeah. you instantly probably feel broader at the top again? Yeah. So I would strongly advise anybody who is carrying some extra rate around their middle or their shoulder area to get out of your skinnies. This is an absolutely perfect time to do that at the moment because uh, skinnies are no longer necessarily in fashion and they're actually really, really hard for people to wear and look good in. You really do need to be sort of six foot to be able to carry them off. Um, so I think just really simple, really yeah. casual, stripey top again. We didn't really mention this before. It's working because we've got some stitching detail around here and it's also working because we've played around with the bottom bit here. We've got a necklace there. It's very, very subtle. The difference between look, popping that in like that. Do you want to come just a little bit closer to the camera so people can see versus 
pulling it out like that. It just adds a little bit of detail there. So does rolling up the sleeve and adding a little bracelet as well. Okay, so we've changed the jeans up a little bit for this amazing kick flare. These are actually from River Island, but I bought them via the next website. So we put this blouse on again that we had on earlier on and straight away I'm going to tuck her in. I think this blouse is a beautiful blouse for Delia because the feminine nature of the um, fabric adds femininity. So if you're feeling broader and butcher on top, <laughs> the last thing you want is a really thick, heavy jumper because it's just going to make you look even bigger. But when a fabric flows lovely like that, particularly when it comes in tight around the wrist area as well, that's going to look really, really nice and fe feminine. The shoulder detail as well is beautiful. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this is from Mango. Um, I've put underneath um, these some heels. Now, where people go wrong with a strong boot cut like that is they don't have them long enough. So they tend to finish them about there. Can you see the difference there? On her right leg, we've literally given her about another two inches of leg length. Now, people do this because they don't want to fall over their jeans. or understand that. So what I would suggest you do is knowing that i'd say these are more going out jeans for yeah. you yeah. yeah so knowing that they were going out jeans i would get them tailored exactly to the right length for the shoes you're going to wear so if you know you're going to be wearing trainers with them whenever you go out then have them tailored so the bottom is literally just as close to the floor as you can get it but if you're going to be wearing heels then have them tailored to the size of the heels actually with these heels actually perfect length on yeah, yeah, yeah. really good yeah. um i think they look amazing so do i oh good <laughs> <laughs> so we've got another success so the balancing out here is beautiful something i haven't mentioned um we haven't really um drawn any attention to your stomach area at all no. have, have you felt have you sort of felt no. big tummy area wise? No. No. Well, I did before we tucked stuff in. Right. And then okay. when, when we was... tucked stuff in, then I didn't. Okay. So that's probably very counterintuitive for a lot of you who are feeling big around here to tuck something in. Um, so we're sort of breaking all the rules today. But I think the point is that we're breaking the rules as well as balancing her out at the same time. And as long as you always think about how you're balancing somebody out, then you can combine the rules to make the outfit work. Basically. OK, so she's just come out. I'm not sure you're looking as... Um, Glam. As, as glam and <laughs> as happy as she was before but just wait to see what I do so you're all getting used to this by now I'm pulling up the sleeves I want to show the thinnest part of her there and I'm definitely not going to leave the top like that it's cut her, cutting her where she feels the wide, widest so I'm just going to tuck this in here I'm going to do these pants up so this is just sort of working from, from home, casual, going to pick up her, her son. Uh, what do you think about that? It's completely different, isn't it? <laughs> it is it's completely so different. different. Okay, so I just grabbed this coat from Next. Um, I think I have shown this in another video, but this coat is brilliant. It's £125. It was, or maybe £128. Check the comments. Um, it's from the Emma Willis collection in Next. And it is identical to a coat from Reese that is way over £300. So let's try something like that on you just to finish it off. There we go. So I saw how you instantly went like that then. I don't know if the audience <laughs> saw that kind of like that. That's not how you want it. You want it so this is creating a line down the middle, which is separating her bust up there. Have it like that, or we just have it open like that, really nice and casual. It's almost like a cootie cardigan mm. in that sort of situation. Yeah. Um, I think I do have a cardigan on the rail as well, so let's swap it for that. Okay, so we've just grabbed a cardigan off the rail. However, straight away, both of us have said that we preferred the coat, didn't we? Yeah. And I think the reason we prefer the coat is because the coat gave more structure in this top area. This feels like it's sloping a little bit. However, 
you've got to stay practical to your lifestyle. So when you're in the house, in at your computer, yeah. you're going <laughs> you're to not going to be in a coat. You're not going to be in a coat. <laughs> yeah. You want a cardigan. Yeah. So um, one way how we can sort of help this process. Oh, by the way, these are these are from John Lewis. You get them from Amazon as well. They're kind of foam like, and they are um, shoulder pads, obviously, but they go under your bra strap. Oh, I'm not wearing a bra. I forgot. I am. <laughs> I, I am wearing a bra, but I'm wearing a strapless bra. Sorry, so I'll have to put it. Up. <laughs> oh, that's a bit I should edit out. Yeah. So they go underneath your bra, bra strap, so you don't have to sew them in. So you literally can keep pulling them. Um, I mean, using them on every single outfit. I'll just put those under there for now. So that's subtle, but that helps. Also what helps is when, when Delia put this cardigan straight on, she kind of went like that. Um, now what that does, it's going to make her bust look bigger. She's better to use it as a tool to half carboning her bust. What do, how do I say that? Halving. To, to, halving. <laughs> <laughs> to reducing her bust line, can you see? So there we go. So that is a practical solution to feeling cold in your house, just a nice long line um, give, and giving you some warmth. But then when you know when you've got to go out, you could have even put that beige coat on that we tried before yeah. or the navy coat. Both would work. OK, so next up, I asked Delia if she wanted to bring something along today that um, perhaps an item in her wardrobe that she loves, but she's got nothing to wear with it or uh, just something that she's having some troubles wear wearing. And she's brought along this beautiful dress. You can still see it's got the tags on. It was from Whistles originally. It's a silk mix wrap dress. So beautiful and it's in velvet. I don't know whether you can catch that in the light. The blue is absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really nice dress. Now, straight away when she showed me that, uh, I formed an opinion. And my opinion is that the wrap is probably going to be very nice if it, fall, if it falls over the bust in the right position. If not, we can just sort of tweak it sometimes. That's not a major um, no-no. What I am concerned about, however, is that it drops right down to your natural waistline, so down here. Now, can you see on myself, my natural waistline is about an inch above my um, belly button, and it is on me, my smallest part. Now we've seen on Delia that she carries a little bit of extra weight around here, meaning that her natural waistline or the smallest part of her waistline is actually going to be under her bust. So I think this is going to be positioned in the wrong place for her, but we'll see. Um, beautiful blue colour. I would be scared that it might drown her out a little bit. Um, we'd probably get some fake tan on her legs and her legs are going to look amazing. But what we don't want her legs to do is look really, really skinny and then really blocky on top. So I think I'm going to have to play around with the waistband to make it work. But let's see if we can do it. OK, so um, Delia has just popped on her own dress here and sort of coming to me, like I say, for some advice. So first of all, I'd say it's giving an absolutely beautiful line across her really amazing <laughs> area. Um, however, she does want honesty. I have I have checked this already. Um, can you see it? this here is bagging all at the wrong area? And if you look to the side there, it's actually making her bust look like it starts there and finishes up here. So, sorry, just turn around again here. So it almost makes her bust look a lot bigger. I'm not sure if the light is capturing that or not. We'll, we'll come forward in a second. Um, so what I would be looking to do is to change the natural waistline there. I want to come un under here almost. So the only way that we're going to be able to do that is to put a belt on it. This is the belt that comes with the dress. However, I think you're going to need a bigger belt, I'm afraid. Mm. I, think, I don't think this is going to do it, but let's try it. 
So all I'm doing here is putting it in at a higher level. Tell straight away when I put it higher like that, it's going to give a better kick out from that position down into her leg area. But the belt itself needs to be quite thick to do that. So let me have a rummage around and I'll come back with whatever okay. I find. Doesn't that look different now? Yeah. I think, um, I think she's fairly ple pleased with this. So what I found was a contrasting belt, belt as you can see, um, quite thick so that the natural waistband got covered in, in its entirety and it allowed us to come right under this bust line. So now this is giving an absolutely beautiful silhouette. Um, for a little bit of colour, it's a nice, is that 50th you're going to? Yes. A 50th birthday she's going to, so a little bit of a sparkle. Do you want to do a little bit of a turn? Now, if you are going to add a belt like this and it's an elasticated belt, my advice would be to pull it out a little bit over the top. So you've got a little bit of a bag going on there. If you don't do that, you're in danger of the belt digging into the back and it looks a little bit like you've got um, extra, sort of carrying extra weight, sort of back, back fat even. So that's a little tip round there. Do you want to turn that round? So I paired it with some neutral shoes to really showcase those amazing legs. There you go, just finishing off with a coat like that, thrown loosely over the shoulders, looks incredibly glamorous. And I think you look absolutely amazing. Okay, so just before we move on from that dress, Delia was just saying that she's got these navy shoes and would they work? So we've put those on now. Um, and I think we've both come to the conclusion that it shows you how hard ankle straps are to wear because Delia has got super slim, lovely legs. But personally, I think that breaking it up there, it doesn't make her legs look stub, um, sort of stubbier, which it would do on sort of my frame, because I've got a lot thicker legs. Um, but I almost think it makes her ankles look too slim. Um, mm. I think it, 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 yeah. we're, we're tending to agree, aren't we? Yeah. Um, because the theory again should say with beautiful thin legs like this that you can wear an ankle strap. But I think if you're going to wear an ankle strap and this goes for the majority of people, make sure it's a nude one. I think that would look, look a lot better. But personally, I preferred the look with the nude shoes on. Okay, so um, that's the end of um, episode two. I hope you have found that useful. Um, I think to conclude about Delia, she is a um, broader on top because of both her bust and her shoulders. However, unlike the traditional strawberry shape, she, she's not narrow around the, um, the thigh area, the thigh and the hip area. She's still actually got some shape. Where she is incredibly narrow is around the bottom part of her legs. So yes, I was broadening her bottom half out in order to balance the top half, but I was doing it a lot lower, so a lot more kick out flares and things like that. I was having to skim over her thin her thigh area. We did that with some blazers or a long line um, cardigan and some long line coats. And even though she felt broad on top, we found that broadening her um, shoulders with some shoulder pads or with detail across the shoulder areas actually helped to balance out her bust and nip in her waist or give the illusion of her waist nipping in. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch and we will be back next week. I think we've got a petite lady next week. Um, I think she's about a UK size 16, lumps bumps in all the right places and we're going to really enjoy um, dressing her. So I'll see you next week. Bye.